<laughs> Hello, humans. Welcome once again to another installment of Creepy Kiki. I'm sorry, I messed up. Let, let's start again. Hello, humans, and welcome to tonight's installment of Creepy Cheapies, also known as Dr. Lady's Affordably Priced Mask Recommendations. Now, tonight's mask comes from the folks at Ruby's. Yes, I said Ruby's. And it, oh, by the way, I never did introduce myself, Del Griffith. It's Leatherface. This particular version of Leatherface is called Leatherface Muzzle. Can you guess the reason for that? It's because he's sort of muzzled. Kind of, sort of. Actually, uh, it's, it's sort of a cross between uh, Leatherface and Hannibal Lecter, is how it always struck me. Well, it didn't actually strike me, or I would have had it charged with assault, but you know what I mean. Uh, this is uh, based on a movie that, well, now remember, on Creepy Cheapies here, we don't talk about, uh, we're not talking about the quality of the film, we're talking about the quality of the mask. This was based on a movie that was a prequel to a remake called Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Beginning from 2006. The movie that proves your worst fears about how likely anything really interesting is uh, going to happen in a movie with the words the beginning in the title. But where were we? Oh yes, the mask. Now this great looking mask was sculpted by a supernaturally talented artist named Matt Kravicki and I believe it came out in the Ruby's catalog right around the time of the movie which would have been the 2006-2007 season. It is full head latex, as you can see, and it has a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice wig attached that really gives the right look uh, as far as how Leatherface's hair looks in the movies. And it's, it's sculpted, obviously, I hope you can tell this on your monitor, it's sculpted to look like the top part is his uh, actual skin exposed and then he's only wearing the the face mask down below. So it was kind of a new look for Leatherface to have the top half of his face exposed and only the bottom half covered. And uh, I think it's an extremely scary mask. Uh, I didn't say extremely scary movie. We're not here to talk about the movie. Once again, just the mask. I think this is one of the scarier uh, commercially mass-produced masks of recent years. And I think if you put this on and chase people around the haunted house or just chase people around, you know, the, the neighborhood yard sale or whatever, you'll make an impression because this is a really creepy thing. And, you know, I don't do this very often, but this mask is so extraordinarily creepy. I'm going to put it on for you just for a second here so you can see how scary it looks when you wear it. Now, don't watch me wearing it. Uh, let's, let's get a distraction going here for them to, yeah, watch, watch, look at this down here, that way you won't notice me putting it on. Okay, there we go, are we good? Okay, fine. Aha! How about that, y'all? Pretty dead burn scary, don't you think? I think so. Well, that's all for this week from Creepy Cheapies, and hope you enjoy your, your look at this scary mask here, and we'll see y'all again next week, or at the chili cook-off or some such. Good night, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah.